Hey there, amazing people. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Welcome to another exciting video where we'll be shedding light on Sigmatal. Sigmatal, Inc. was an American system on a chipset electronics and software company headquartered in Austin, Texas, that designed a media player at a SOX reference circuit boards, SIC software development kits built around a custom cooperative kernel and all SIC device drivers including USB mass storage and AV decoder DSP, media player at apps, and controller chips for multifunction peripherals. Sigmatal became Austin's largest IPO as of 2003 when it became publicly traded on NASDAQ. The company was driven by a talented mix of electrical and computer engineers plus other professionals with semiconductor industry experience in Silicon Hills, the number 2 IC design region in the United States, after Silicon Valley. Sigmatal trading symbol SGTL was acquired by Freeskill Semiconductor in 2008 and delisted from NASDAQ. Prepare yourself for an in-depth analysis of history in this section. In this and early Sigmatal produced audio codecs which went into the majority of PC sound cards. Cretive Sound Blaster used mainly Sigmatal and ADI codecs. This expanded to onboard audio for computer motherboards and players. In 2004, Sigmatal socks were found in over 70% of all flash memory based devices sold in the global market. However, Sigmatal lost its last eye of socket in 2006 when it was not found in the next generation iPod Shuffle. Portal Player was the largest competitor, but were bought by NVIDIA after Portal Player's chips lost their socket in the iPod. Sigmatal was voted best place to work in Austin 2005 by the Austin Chronicle. In July 2005, Sigmatal acquired the rights to different software technologies sold by Digital Networks North America subsidiary of DEM Holdings, an owner of Rio Audio. On July 25, 2006, Integrated Device Technology, Inc. IDT announced its acquisition of Sigmatal, Inc.'s AC and High Definition Audio HD Audio PC and Notebook Audio Codec products lines for approximately $72 million in cash, and the acquisition of Sigmatal's intellectual property and employee teams necessary for continuing existing product roadmap, with expected closure by the end of July. Sigmatal also won a spot in Samsung Televisions. Sales of the SCF TV audio solution, which can be used in analog, digital and hybrid televisions, have been ramping up. Sigmatal later introduced SCF, which is anticipated to supplant the SCF. In mid-2007 Sigmatal introduced portable QVG, a portable video decoder, and support for higher resolutions using WMV and PEG followed. Some Sigmatal microcontrollers, like Skurg, are used in printers manufactured by Samsung and sold under the Xeox brand. Kodak all-in-one printers also use Sigmatal X. Sigmatal's equity traded as low as $100 million below book value. Its peak share price was $45 and its day one IPO max share price was around $18. After the SGTL IPO in 2003, Austin's other biggest IPO was the later spin-off of Freeskill Semiconductor by Motorola Corporation. Over 150 models of wood players used Sigmatal SC and the SPACS SC with its MS drum capabilities. On February 4, 2008, Freeskill Semiconductor announced that it had entered into a definitive agreement to acquire Sigmatal for $110 million. The agreement closed in the second quarter of 2008 and all SGTL shares were purchased by Freeskill for $3 each. Freeskill continued developing and selling the portable AVSIC products line, which are ARM-based SPACSCs and SPACSCs AVSOX, and the SPERC-based SPACSCs portable AVSIC. Product info was on Freeskill's ARM-based controller site. Freeskill's ISMS ARM and ISMS ARM based multimedia SIC product line, especially analog SIC features, have been integrated with the SPAX product line, resulting in a stronger portable multimedia product portfolio. 
On February 25, 2009, Freeskill laid off 70% of the former Sigmatal team as part of a company-wide reduction in force. No new products under the Sigmatal design teams will be created. A skeleton crew was chosen to stay and support existing OEM customers that are using their existing chips until the chips enter their end-of-life phase. Freeskill integrated analog IP from Sigmatal into its competing product lines and continues to pursue component and real-time OS device driver-based support for ohms rather than the complete hardware and software turnkey system design approach of the successful Sigmatal startup that powered hundreds of millions of portable media players enjoyed by many users. After winning player integrated circuit patent infringement suits at the U.S. International Trade Commission when the SPAC's principal firmware engineer documented how Sigmatal firmware uses its dynamic voltage and frequency scaling related patents, U.S. Customs physically destroyed Actions Semiconductor Products at the U.S. Border for Intellectual Property Infringement. Sigmatal settled all patent litigation and in 2007 entered into a cross-licensing agreement with the Zhuhai, China-based Actions Semiconductor Company Limited. Both companies also agreed not to pursue possible third-party IP infringements or new legal action against each other and their respective customers for three years. Consequently, all of Action's current and future products may be imported into the US market without restrictions. Prepare yourself for an in-depth analysis of products in this section. Sigmatal offered a line of efficient audio and video codec chips that were integrated into many desktop computers, notebooks, and audio playback devices, notably Mkwa players. Other products included microcontrollers for digital appliances, portable compressed video decoders and TV audio products. The line of popular audio chips included portable SPACSCs, SPACSCs, and AV-capable SPACSCs SEC. A key technology was the advanced device driver support of a broad array of multi-vendor raw NAND flash memory used for program storage and virtual memory in lieu of discrete RAM, AV file storage, and new audio recordings. The SPACSCs SEC was sold into over 150 million portable media players. Former IBM engineer Dave Baker, FT, EEU Texas Austin, and Texas Instruments alum EEMB Danny Mulligan led the SIC design team at Sigmatal. Pre-IPO engineer, U Texas Austin Electrical and Computer Engineering alum and Motorola Advanced Media Platforms alum Jonathan L. Nesbitt was SPAC's SIC software development kit principal led from 2006 to 2009. Several major contributing principal embedded software engineers from the pre-IPO period included Thor Thayer, ex-Motor and Jeff Gleason on Audio DSP, UT Austin alum Mark Jordan on Boot ROM and USB, J.C. Pina, its physicists Gray Abbott and William Bill Gorlanft. Others principals formerly with the Motorola Advanced Media Platforms division that later become Freeschool's multimedia group included Matt Henson of Carnegie Mellon U and Jana Garfolo. Former Motorola and EE Tom Zudok served as VP of Software and managed the software team for the SPACSCs and SPACSCs SDK. Other leading technologists that created this Texas-based system on a chip success are members of the LinkedIn group Sigmatal Alumni. Several IC fabs in Asia were utilized to build SIC wafers, including TSMC in Taiwan. Audio encoding and recording to a wide variety of flash memory IMP and WAV formats were supported from microphone, Sigmatal frequency modulation IC digital audio source, or line in. Printed circuit board PCB layouts and reference schematics were provided to OEM and original development manufacturing ODM customers, driving easy manufacturing. Turnkey portable media player custom RTOS framework and app software was a large component of the company's success. Sigmatal provided SIC software to equipment manufacturers of portable audio and video player chips. Sigmatal's audio chips have been found in Dell laptops, several Dell desktops, the Sony Veo notebook, and numerous other audio playback devices. SPAX is an audio system on a chipset that requires no external RAM, voltage converters, battery chargers, 
headphone capacitors, analog to digital converters, digital to analog converters, or amplifiers. Over 150 portable audio product models are based on that SPACS and over 150 million such portable audio player socks were sold from 2002 to 2006. The first generation iPod Shuffle used the Signal SPACS and its product quality software development kit. Other products using that Signal SIC and software include the Dell Ditty, Creative Movo, Philips, and many others. Audio quality for the chip was rated as best in industry. Skix added Microsoft Trim support, enabling interoperability with services such as Rhapsody Million Song Subscription Service, Napster, and Yahoo. Music Engine I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.